when you're building e-learning courses or even presentations uh, and you're meeting with a client, it's really a good idea to have a storyboard to kind of sketch out some ideas. So uh, you might want to have something like this where you can show the client this is kind of what uh, the course is going to look like or this is what the presentation is going to look like. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll print out these blank sheets and then I can work with the client. Now I like PowerPoints. I just use PowerPoint, create a few blank slides, uh, print out the handouts, and then I've got some squares and then uh, that represent the screens like this and then I'd have places to write my text. But if you want to create your own storyboard template, uh, here's a website that will make it really easy. So let's go to the website here. Uh, it's on the Incompetech website. It's the storyboard paper PDF generator and, um, and at the same time you can go ahead and uh, <laughs> register for Netflix. We're going to look at the generator here and, and the links on the website. So if you um, look at this, uh, this is kind of what you're going to get. You're going to get like a frame and then a place to write. Now you have different sizes to work with. So like this is probably more of an HD size, so maybe 16.16.9 ratio, um, and so you, uh, or a widescreen ratio. And so you can use that uh, to have a better frame than if it was just a squared off or a 4.3 ratio, like you might have on a PowerPoint slide. So this will let you do all that. So we're just going to keep pretty much everything by default. We're going to select the eight and a half by eleven paper. You know, you can select your border here, line width, all that stuff. Um, and then what we're going to do is select a ratio. Now, if I'm working in PowerPoint slides, I'm going to select the four three. If I'm working in a widescreen or HD, I'm going to select one of these other ratios. So this way, you kind of have a you can represent what's on the screen better than if uh, you were using four three. You can choose how many columns you want, so how many of these squares across the page, and then how many rows, how many down the page. I think two by two is pretty good. Uh, type in a header, whatever you want to type in there. I'm just going to keep everything by default. Uh, when you're ready to go, just go ahead and hit download a PDF, and then what you're going to get is something that looks like this. So you can see here's the header, and then here's basically my blank squares, and then a section for notes. And then when you're working with the client, you can kind of sketch out things. You don't have to be an artist. Just use um, basic shapes or uh, stick figures, whatever it is. Uh, and essentially, you're just using the storyboard to kind of uh, visually show uh, what should be on the screen. And you could do something where each screen could represent uh, different elements of the same screen. So you might have four panels. Uh, but they represent a progressive revelation of information or you're progressively revealing information. So maybe this is your start screen and then text comes in over here and then now a person animates in or whatever you want to do. So uh, having these handy when you're working with the clients a good way to kind of start visually uh, representing uh, the course as you're mocking it up. So this is an easy site to use if you want to create uh, custom storyboard handouts.